what was it like um, uh, then uh, uh, going to uh, another treatment? First of all, how, how long did it take uh, to realize that even with the rituximab plus the penistatin, uh, that wasn't going to hold you? Well, I think um, it was about six months afterwards, um, and I, I got hyper-focused on white cell count. So I would go to my hematologist. I'd ask him, what's my white cell count? And I noticed it, it wasn't recovering, and it was actually going back down. So that's when I had the conversation with my hematologist that said, can we do something other than what you have been doing because it doesn't seem to be working. Mm -hmm. And uh, so how many years was it after the penistatin rituximab that uh, you needed more treatment? Uh, it, was a, it was about a couple of years, a couple of years ultimately. Okay. It was, like I said, I, it was getting into a pattern of every two or two and a half years, I would need to go have treatment again because my white cells were di taking a dive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so one of the things we find is that when we add rituximab to a purine analog like cladobine or penistatin, uh, it makes the purine analog work much, much better. Uh, and uh, there are uh, many investigators uh, that, have, uh, that have combined uh, rituximab and purine analog uh, chemotherapy for hairy cell leukemia, um, and uh, they have also found uh, similar things uh, uh, that uh, you can get complete remission uh, much more uh, in, in a high frequency, and also it tends to last a lot longer. Uh, there's uh, an entity called minimal residual disease in hairy cell leukemia, uh, which is leftover hairy cells that can only be detected by special tests. Um, there are monoclonal antibody tests that, uh, that you could do flow cytometry, immunohistochemistry of the bone marrow, uh, highly technical tests that uh, can detect this, these traces of hairy cells, which we call minimal residual disease, MRD. And uh, if you don't get rid of them, it, if you don't get rid of the MRD, uh, it, we believe that it can grow back into a relapse, into hairy cell leukemia that needs more treatment. Um, so usually we find that even though patients are being treated another time with the um, with, with, uh, uh, purine analog chemotherapy, that if it's combined with rituximab, that remission should last a lot longer than even their previous treatment. Um, uh, we believe that if, I mean, what we see is that if patients uh, get the same purine analog again, uh, their remission is gonna last less long, and maybe they won't have a remission or the remission won't be as complete. Uh, but uh, it sounds like from your experience that uh, the remission after penistatin rituximab really didn't last any longer than the previous chemotherapy no, was. It didn't. So that led you to, uh, to the NIH, is that right? Yes, the, that, uh, that's the conversation I mentioned that I had with my hematologist that asked him to look for some other way uh, to get rid of the hairy cell or get better control of the hairy cell than having to do this to do the 2CDA every two years. And that's where my hematologist found you.